One day, my husband came home from work, and without any words, he took out a piece of paper from his bag and said to me, "I want a divorce right away. I don't enjoy being with you, and we can't even have children." The paper seems to be a divorce paper. He was waving it in front of me. I'm sure he's trying to slight me. He seems to think that if he goes to this far, I will return to being an obedient wife again. Well, I'm not going to play that game, and this is a good thing for me. Here, the divorce paper. I snatched the divorce paper from my husband, got a pen, and began to fill it out. What? My name is Melly, a thirty-two years old housewife. I got married a year ago to a man named Ken. Before I got married, I was working for a company and was a career woman. But my husband told me that when we get married, he wanted me to be a stay-at-home wife. So I decided to leave the company. I could have still worked, but I loved my husband so much at the time that I wanted to do what I could help to him as much as possible. I also wanted to experience being a full-time housewife for once, so I didn't have a problem with the idea of being a stay-at-home wife. However, once we started our married life, problems arose in other areas. First of all, my husband was selfish. He does not cook at all, but he often makes a demand about the taste of the food. Is this vegetable cooked? It's low. What? It's cooked well. It tastes better when it's crispy like this. I don't like it like this. I like it cooked more. Additionally, wow, it's spicy. I'm sweating. How much spicy stuff did you put? I only put in about half a teaspoon of spicy sauce. I can't eat anything. Hey, my husband complained and poured mayonnaise on the food to cover up the taste of the original food. There are many episodes like this related to cooking alone, but there is something else that bothers me about my husband. He spends too much money on his hobbies and interests. My husband loves fashion and buys expensive brands. I'm not that interested in fashion, so I'm fine with clothes that are less than one hundred dollar. But my husband's standard is still hundreds of dollars. Whether it's a T-shirt or a hat, he always buys something in the range of several hundred. When I ask him to spend a little less, he refuses to listen to me, saying, "It's my money, so it's fine." So I have to save as much as I can, and it's really hard. And when I try to cut back on food cost and serve fewer dishes, he immediately noticed and stopped complaining about it. He doesn't do any of the housework, and he's not capable of it either. But he's just so picky in that way. My mother-in-law was also a nuisance, though not as much as my husband. My husband took me to his mother-in-law's house twice a month without fail. I told him I wasn't particularly eager about it, but he would argue that they would also they would say that if his wife didn't come, so he would force me to go with him. And then my mother-in-law, as she had been waiting for me, starts to snipe at me. Mary, what is this? It doesn't taste like anything. What? But if you add salt to it, it is too salty. Are you trying to say that I can't properly taste? No, no, no. That's not what I was saying. Can't glue up with my taste. You should learn to season it the way he likes it. Why did he marry this woman at all? I used to get a stomach ache when I went to my in-laws' house because of the bad things they would say about me every time. But as usual, my husband wouldn't listen to me, and he would take me to my in-laws' house either I was sick or not. And my mother-in-law would ask me every chance she got, "How about the grandchildren?" I can understand why my mother-in-law would be impatient, since my husband and I are both in our thirties. But we had just gotten married. I'm a little embarrassed to say this, but I've rarely done such activities with my husband since we got married. He comes home late, and even if he comes home early, he says he's too tired to do anything with me. That's why we've been hardly been able to procreate. When I honestly told him that I don't want my mother-in-law to bother me, he says she's just messing with you, so you don't have to take her seriously. It was as if he didn't care about how I felt. I was losing my impatience. My mother-in-law was constantly troubling me, and my husband was not at all receptive to my feelings. So one day, I decided to have a talk with my husband. Hey, can I ask you to pay a little more attention to me? What? I talk to him about your mother-in-law, and you don't listen to me at all. Besides, we're not active at night. Oh, that again? You know, you and mom—that's your problem, right? You got to make it work on your own. 
And I think you're too aggressive about activity at night. Huh? I never knew women in their 30s are so sexually active. You suck. Well, did you say something? You really suck that you say such a thing. Huh? You're the one who's being flirted by me. And why are we so cookie? All you have to do is listen to me and do what I tell you to do. Don't bother me with your petty problems. I can't blow in my ears. Was this really the words of the husband who married me? Before we were married, he used to be much more kind and more killing towards me. He apparently thinks that I will do whatever he says. Maybe it's because when we got married, he wanted me to be a stay at home wife. And I expected it without complaint. He must have thought that I'm submissive. After I realized this, my feelings for my husband instantly cooled off. Until now, even if he treated me a little unreasonably, I had forgiven him because I loved my husband. But now that I realized that he thinks of me as his housekeeper, it was difficult for me to maintain my feelings of love towards him. From that day on, I stopped listening to him. I no longer did what he told me to. I cooked what I wanted to cook, and now I wanted to cook it. I never went to my in law's house because he didn't feel like it. As expected, he lost his temper every time. Hey, why don't you do as you told? You're a stay at home wife, so do it. Hey, listen to me. I responded only when my husband speaks to me in a normal way. But when he was being unreasonable, I decided to ignore him. My husband didn't expect me to behave that way. He gradually began to be careful with how he was with me. And then he didn't say anything to me about a month. He finally reached his limit. One day, my husband came home from work, and without any words, he took out a piece of paper from his bag and said to me, I want a divorce right away. I don't enjoy being with you, and we can't even have children. The paper seems to be a divorce paper. He was waving it in front of me. The husband part of us already figured out. My husband was telling me he wanted a divorce, but for some reason, he had a grin on his face. I'm sure he's just trying to slap me. He seems to think that he, if he goes this far, I'll become an obedient wife again. But I'm not going to play that game, and this is good for me. What? Fine, give me the divorce paper. I snatched the divorce paper from my husband, got a pen, and began to fill it out. What? He didn't expect me to stop filling it out, and was clearly upset. I ignored the reaction and hurriedly filled out the divorce paper. Oh, are you serious? Well, I was thinking of getting a divorce too. You kidding, right? Why? After all the horrible things you did to me, how could I possibly want to stay married to you? No, well, well, what? That I'm your housekeeper who does whatever you say? Oh no, no, no. Well, it looks like I was spot on. You're such an asshole. I don't know why I married a guy like you. Shut up. You want a good enough housewife? That's a fact. You can say what you want. I recorded every horrible thing you said to me. I'll fall a suit against you for Mullah husband. Oh no. My husband turned pale and fell into a heap. Oh, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. What am I going to do when without you? My husband started to cry and I was shocked. The moment I tried to be tough with him, he turns into a frightened puppy. How petty he is. I packed up my belongings and left the house, ignoring my husband who was crying, clinging to me. I immediately filled the divorce paper and went back to my parents' house. By the way, I had been secretly looking for a job for about a month before this divorce happened. And just when I found a company that would fire me as a full time employee, my husband brought me the divorce paper. The time was perfect. I found a job, so I stayed at my parents' house for a few days and then moved out. And I went through the division of property and the compensation for the moral husband from my ex husband with my lawyer. My ex husband kept telling my lawyer that he wanted to see me, so I asked him to issue a restraining order just in case. It seems that I was right in my decision. And my ex husband, who thought I was at my parents' house, came to my parents' house one day and asked me where I was. As a result, my mother reported the incident and my ex husband was arrested. He was released, but he was fired from his job because of it. He now lives at my parents' in law's house and looks up himself there. I heard that my ex husband was in a miserable state because he was dumped by me and there was no one left to handle the housework. His room was in a mess and he spent money without thinking about his future. 
He couldn't pay his rent and living expenses, and he was in panic. He realized how important I was and wanted me to come back to him. So he was delayed to find out where I was. I think it's pathetic that my husband didn't realize how blessed he was until he lost everything. At best, I hope he will reflect on this incident and improve his bad character. I, on the other hand, am working hard at my new job. It seems that I'm more suited to a life centered around work than being a housewife. So I have learned a lesson from my failure in this marriage and find an independent man who can do his own housework the next time. Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to the channel if you like. See you in the next video.